morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, and wherever you are, it is that time of day again. I would just like to welcome you to this random show of randomness. I guess that's what it is. Honestly, I guess that's what it is. I really don't know what it is, but I would like to talk to you today about a laundry hamper. <laughs> I got a laundry hamper. <laughs> I did. I bought a laundry hamper, and I ordered it off the mail. I won't tell you where the place is that I got it off of, but in fear of being sued for life and everything, I don't want to do that. You know, you can find it yourself if you want. If you know me personally, PM me. I'll tell you where I got it. Yeah. Um. Well, before I go any further, I would like to tell you, I did record the whole experience of me getting this in the mail. So, let's just go ahead and play that right now. Real some Scooby Doo. La da da da. Da 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 da. Just reading some Scooby Doo today. Da 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 da. Just reading some Scooby Doo. We should call the police, said Shaggy. Dooby dooby doo. Oh my god! The mail's here! I ordered a laundry camper and the mail's here. Look. Give me the mail. Oh my god. This is supposed to be a laundry hamper. How do you expect this to fit in there? UPS system today. What is this? Look at this. Look at how they sent it. Look at how it's all damaged. From Kentucky. People don't know how to do anything. Listen to me closely here right now for just one second. This laundry hamper. This. Just, just, just enjoy it in all of its, you know, see-throughness. And think about this one thing for one moment here. It's gonna be invisible! How is it going to hide your laundry? Just tell me. <laughs> it told me that it's going to hide my laundry as long as I close that fiber like uh, uh, that polyester looking lid. With this hamper, this see-through hamper, this mesh-like material that it has. Let's just, let's just try this out for just one moment. Or, well, actually, let's just think about this. It is a see-through laundry hamper. And I don't care if you close it. Am I supposed to put a bag in it? How am I supposed to put a bag in it? It's going to get jammed up in the zipper. And then all that's going to be messed up and I have to throw it away after I done paid fortune for it. I really didn't pay fortune for it, but still. How? How's it going to close? How is it going to hide my clothes? How's it going to hide your dirty clothes? How's it going to hide anything? It ain't going to hide nothing. <laughs> how? How's it going to hide anything? Okay. Okay. Let's give this a try. I got these little, these little pieces of paper. I got a little message for us today. I was recording. I mean, I was writing down this stuff last the other night. And we're going to throw them in the laundry hamper. And then we're going to close the lid on them and we're going to hide them. But, you know, is this because that lid ain't going to hide? Or this laundry hamper ain't going to hide all of these terrible things? We're going to have to do more than put them in a basket or put them in a hamper and close the lid on them. You can't just do that. You got to really get to the depth of the problem. Let's go ahead and try this first. And this is all of the stuff, you know, that you don't want to have in your life. All right, I got abuse. You don't want any abuse in your life. You don't want to hold on to that. I know it's hard sometimes to get rid of stuff, but, you know, we're going to throw that in the laundry hamper. We're going to throw hatred in the laundry hamper. This is more, you know, easier. It's not that easy, but it's easier than getting rid of abuse, I would think. So, I would believe so. So we're going to get rid of hatred. We don't want that in our lives. We want to get rid of cheating. We don't want to do that. Judging is a more complicated thing. I've actually made videos about this. But you still don't want to be like, you know, oh my God, did you see that guy? Oh my God, he's just all alive. You know, we want to make judgments based on God's opinion. Or not God's opinion, but based on the Word of God. Now we want to get rid of gossiping. You don't want to do that. Running around talking about other people. You know, you don't know their life. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of bitterness. We don't want to be bitter. We want to be better. We'll get rid of all that. You know, we want to get rid of that. 
and we want to get rid of jealousy. Now we got all of this here in the clothes hamper. And what we're going to do is we're going to zip it up. Oh my god, I got caught on the little handle. Okay, okay, I got I got I got the clothes hamper zipped up. We got all the problems in there, you know, most of the ones that I could think of for people that would have problems. But you really don't want that in your life, okay? You really don't want that in your life. You don't want all that hatred. You don't want all that lying. You don't want all that cheating. All that's going to do is just leave you and drag you through the mud. You want to get rid of all that. But come on. Just putting it somewhere and putting the lid on it and throwing it in the back of your closet or something ain't going to do away with it. You got to take that. Whoa! You got to take that stuff. You got to take that lying. You got to take that cheating. You got to take that bitterness. You got to take that hatred. You got to take all of those things that aren't of the fruit of the Spirit of God. And you got to take them and you got to put them and you got to let the Holy Ghost burn those things out of you. Now, how do you do this? You got to get down on your knees and say, God, help me, please. Now, go ahead. Get down on your knees today. Just give them a try. Give them a try. If you're going through pains and struggles and trials in your life, get down on your knees because the Lord is waiting for you to say, God, help me, please. That's how you get rid of stuff. You can't just hide it. You got to eliminate it. Thanks for stopping by today. Do stop by again. You know, if you're ever in the area, if you're ever scrolling down the, scrolling down the, the recommended videos or down the channels that you're supposed to be on instead of those other ones. Just come on down, click on the video, say hi. I'll be here back. I'll say hi back. <laughs> I will find a way to say hi back to you and creep you out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today. Hope you have a good time. Have a good life. Have a good day. Jolly good day. You gotta have a jolly good day. And um, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Like, share, subscribe. And, 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 and keep on believing. That's what you got to do. You got to keep on believing. Have a good time. Thank you for, for watching. For watching. For watching. I don't know what that word is, but thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. It really made my day. It really did. And I would just like to say shalom. Have a good day. And the reason I say shalom is because I want you to have peace. You know, we all want a little peace. We all got to have a little peace. It's just something that we all need. It's something that, 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 that. We're supposed to have. Like a piece of cake. See this? Right here. We all need a little piece of cake in our life. <laughs> I'm going to go enjoy this piece of cake. Ah! Whoa! <laughs>